Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this plot here. Inside of Photoshop. Yeah, inside of Photoshop. If you've not gotten your sci-fi fantasy PSD pack, if you've not gotten your flyer pack, and if you've not gotten your Corel Draw flyer templates, and if you've also not gotten your smart designer premium asset all these are in the description of the video you can click on the links to get any one of them that you would need for your designing right without having to say much let's get started so the first thing click on file and um, click on new so i'm just going to set this um i'm just going to give it a name just a simple poster right poster design like this 4x5 versions is at 300 RGB and click on create like this. So you are greeted with this interface, right? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to um, adjustment layer, click on solid color and I'm going to use black for this, right? Black as the base color. The next thing I'm going to do is going to get my resource file, right? And um, to get my resource file, I'm just going to go to where I have my Smart Designer Premium Assets. You can see I have mine open here. This is the Graphics Bundle. You can see Graphics Bundle. This is Smart Designer Premium Assets. Open it up and locate where you have Premium Backgrounds. When I open this up, you can see that you have lots of Premium Backgrounds here that you can use. I'm going to use the Blacks. So every time I'm going to use under this Black. So if you are designing a flyer, if you are designing something that needs all of this, you can see that this comes in handy for you instead of looking for these are premium backgrounds that you can use. So I'm just going to bring this out like this. I'm going to place it up here like this. Hold down shift while you are extending this. Like this. Yes. So this is exactly what I want to create. Of course, I don't want hard edges. Create the mask. Select your brush. Make sure you are selecting the soft round brush. My flow is set to 100. I'm just going to rub off and um, remove all these places like this. Right? Great. So I have this. I'm just going to reduce the opacity like this. And um, yeah, we're good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is still inside my premium um, smart designer assets. I'm just going to bring in this next image, this one here. So you can take note of the image I'm actually using. So if you have yours, you can use and you can flow along with this video. So I'm just going to use the brush and conceal the edges like this. Once again, I'm going to reduce the opacity like this and um, take it up a bit just like this. And that's all I have to do. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sample this color here um, or just use a red color. I'm trying to get this color here from the light. I'm trying to work with everything I have in my environment. Or better still, I'm going over to my resource file. Now I have a resource file that has the basketball player and the NBA logo. So you can get this separately from the Telegram group, right? So I'm just going to make this smaller and leave this here. And I'm going to sample color from this image. Double click here and when this comes up, sample the color from the basketball itself. And when you are done, you can hide this by unchecking this. So I have this in place, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. With the foreground set to the color that I sampled, I'm just going to use my brush to do this. In case yours is not perfect, you can Ctrl Z and do it again. Or you can make it straight and just Ctrl Z, do it again like this. If you feel it's um, on top, you can bring this downward like this by holding down shift, adjust it like this and click enter when you're done. Okay, so um, I have this in place. So I can now go on to the next thing. Um, so with this one selected, I'm going to add some blood to it to just um, add some blood to it like this. And um, that's exactly what I want to do to it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
stay on this there and i'm going to bring in my next image which is this image here um where is it where is it okay here this image drag inside here and drop here like this right so i have this i'm going to change the blend mode to screen and i'm just going to mask it out and i'm going to get rid of the sharp edges the hair and on top here like this i'm going to change the blend mode to what to screen but before i do that i'm going to apply hue and saturation for this and i'm going to click on colorize you can see i've changed everything right so i'm going to use something that looks like green but not entirely green something along this line like this you can see how well this is this is something you don't get to see in other applications right changing the hue it affects everything and you can just composition made it easy for you right so i'm just going to um select all of this group them and i'm going to name this bg that's background like this okay so background like this so let's move on go over to my text and i'm going to type um i'm going to type a few things so what i want here is just game night so i'm just going to type this out like this Control t and to increase all of this you can rotate it like this make sure it's straight by holding down the shift and game night is just going to be like this and extend it up like this and uh, move it like this make it bigger like this click on it and i'm going to change the color like this click ok double click here and i'm going to use this one to write night good so i'm going to make a copy of this night also Ctrl J to do that. So it's just going to be Ctrl J like this. And um, Ctrl T to bring out the transform. Make it smaller. Click enter when you're done. Double click on the thumbnail. And I'm just going to type game night. One line. And I'm basically just going to um, make this smaller. I'm just going to leave the size like this. I'm going to leave the size like this. Uh, make it smaller like this and um, set this to 3000 like this and I'm going to position this one here like this so it's game nights and yeah so with this one I think I'm just going to leave it like this it's just going to stay this way. Close this up and um, let's move on with the rest of the design. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to move this up just slightly. And um, I'm going to make this visible like this. So I have the player visible. Um, that's the wrong. Select it like this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it is. And um, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. Ctrl J for this. And uh, I'm just going to blending option like this. And I'm going to click on color overlay. Click on it and make sure you change the color overlay to black. And click OK like this. Click OK like this when you're done. Right? So. When you do that, the next thing you want to do is move it up. You can see what we've just done. Hold down shift while you bring this down and rotate it like this so you can match the position of the leg. Right? So what you want to do is, is convert this to a smart object. Go to filter, go to blur and apply Gaussian blur to it. I'm going to increase the radius and I'm going to work with this. So you can have this, this is what you have. So you can put it behind the image or you choose to leave yours like this. 
either ways actually works fine and perfect right so you can see that this image has some white um, thing going on around it so what do we do hold down control click on it and click on the mask selecting the mask click on order and click on minimum like this and click ok you can see it's all gone right make sure you are not using the radius that's too much the radius your radius value is very very um small and minimal right so um i have this in place so i can put this this is the shadow i can put it under the image itself right so directly on top of this i'm going to create a new layer no do i have to create a new layer no i'm just going to click on hue and saturation click on colorize and i'm going to increase the value i'm going to make sure the color i'm using rhymes with what i have in the background i'm going to invert this and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make it visible on only the areas that should be visible right like this and i'm just going to keep doing this keep doing this if you make a mistake press ctrl z make sure it's on the outer part of the image and like this like this and like this also on the top here to on the base here on the hair region if you make a mistake make sure you are quick to press ctrl zero and voila this is how i created this lighting effects on this image you can see it looks much more realistic so to make it even more realistic hold down alt and break this apart and shift it to this part here and click ok when you're done so you can change the saturation here in case you don't want to use green you can also change the hue and saturation here too right so you can choose to make this this way whichever one works for you it's fine right so but i will leave mine like this and um yeah i'm good to go like this create a new layer here and what i'm going to do here is very very simple i'm just going to um use a black color right i'm just going to put the black here just like this just like this and uh, I think I'm just gonna make this 100 like this that works best for me right so um, I can actually control it let me put this back to 100 yeah so I'm gonna leave this this way just like this So for this game night, I'm going to group them, Ctrl G to group them, I'm going to name this text like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a layer above it and create a clipping mask directly above it. I'm going to sample this green color, click OK and what you should do is select your brush, make sure you turn off your cap lock and I'm just going to paint on the edges like this and like this. So you can also play with your blend modes but for this i'm just going to leave mine at normal but you can experiment with the various blend modes that you have already here so i'm just going to leave mine at normal and yes we're good to go i can just reduce the opacity like this and that's all i'm going to be doing so directly under here i'm going to create a new layer this is going to be for the shadows so i'm going to use a darker color and i'm going to reduce the flow of my brush um, and I'm going to start painting in shadows on the areas I'm supposed to have shadows like this, like this, like this, and um, these areas here, like, can make your brush smaller areas here like this, I'm supposed to have shadow. 
and uh, just make sure when you are doing yours you are aiming for perfection right so this is what i have right so we have our balance shadows and all the elements working together right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going over to my resource file i'm bringing in the mba logo i'm going to drag and drop inside here like this of course it's going to fill the whole canvas i'm going to make it smaller and it comes in a black color so we're going to change that we need to change that so right click on this click on blending option and um when this pops up click on color overlay and click on this color here make sure you're selecting the white and click ok like this and yeah you can see it has been changed okay so one last thing we need to do is um make it pop that's the particular color so i'm going to use you and saturation or color balance for this i'm just going to increase to where i have my greens in the mid tones and that's all i'm going to do all right guys this brings me to the end of this video enjoy this section do not move an inch without hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you miss any of the videos i'll be dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video just up ahead like this